Carl Raymond Popper was born in Austria's capital city, Vienna, on July 28, 1902. His father was Simon Sigmund Karl Popper, a wealthy, successful lawyer. His mother was Jenny Schiff, a talented amateur pianist. Both of his parents were converts from Judaism to Lutheranism. Karl was the youngest of three children. He had two older sisters, Dora and Annie. His upbringing was highly cultured. The Popper home had its own scholar's library, and the appreciation and playing of classical music was a dependable and enjoyable part of daily life. Despite his privileged background and his frequent visits to Vienna's concert halls and art galleries, Karl's main concern was the obvious poverty he saw in the city. Karl's father worked with two organizations offering shelter and food to the homeless. One of these organizations gave a destitute 19-year-old by the name of Adolf Hitler a roof over his head in 1908. Karl only learned about his father's charitable work several years later. Even as a young boy, Karl thought about big questions in science and philosophy. He worried about the concept of infinity, a problem which later in life he continued to wrestle with. Influenced by Darwin's ideas, he also began speculating about the origin of life. Karl found high school lessons at Vienna Gymnasium intolerably slow and boring. He felt his time was being wasted. In 1917, at age 15, he returned to school after a long illness and found that even in mathematics, the one subject he enjoyed, the class had made little progress. In late 1918, age 16, he left school and matriculated at the University of Vienna, not to study for a degree, but simply to attend lectures he thought would be interesting and worthwhile. He did not need to pass an entrance exam to do this. At about the same time, World War I ended. Austria was on the losing side and its people were now tormented by severe financial and social turmoil. The problems of poverty that had concerned Popper as a child were now more acute, affecting many more people. Popper became a Marxist, and by early 1919, age 17, he had become a communist. He believed these doctrines offered the best means to end the terrible hardship faced by many of Vienna's citizens. His communist phase was short-lived. Popper soon concluded that communists with their belief in revolutionary violence did not care about people dying. They exploited the workers cynically, using them as pawns in a power game. In 1919, learning about Albert Einstein's work changed Popper's life. Einstein's general theory of relativity said that gravity was actually a curvature of space-time caused by mass. Popper contrasted the outlook of Einstein was willing to set objective criteria to determine if his theory was wrong. With the outlook of his Marxist friends, Einstein greatly influenced Popper's intellectual development and eventual conviction not to involve in party politics. Popper contended that fascist or communist totalitarian societies politicized science, preventing freedom of thought, leading to the degradation of knowledge. Totalitarian governments harmed people and societies by imposing policies on them that had been formulated using false theories. Popper met his wife Josephine Anna Henninger in 1925 at the Institute of Education in Vienna, where she was also a student. They married in 1930. In 1937, concerned at the growth of Nazism in Germany and correctly fearing Germany would annex Austria, Popper took up a position as a lecturer in philosophy at Canterbury University in Christchurch, New Zealand. In 1946, he became a reader at the London School of Economics, and in 1949, he was promoted to Professor of Logic and Scientific Method. He was knighted by Queen Elizabeth in 1965, becoming Sir Karl Popper. In 1969, at age 67, he retired from his professorship, but remained active in academic circles for the rest of his life. He loved playing the piano, as his mother had done before him. He said that his skills as a pianist never matched hers. In contrast to his work in philosophy, where he challenged the older order, his musical tastes were very traditional. He liked Bach and Beethoven, and did not appreciate new classical music such as Arnold Schoenberg's atonal work. Karl Popper died age 92 of cancer on September 17, 1994, in Kenley, England, UK. He was buried beside his wife in Vienna's Lenze Fredhof Cemetery. The couple had no children. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, 
Our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love